The rising threat of China has dominated talks between the Defence Minister Richard Miles and his US counterpart. The Minister was invited for high-level meetings at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., as US and Australian officials continue work on the AUKUS nuclear submarine agreement. And our US correspondent Annalise Nielsen filed this report. Defence Minister Richard Miles is asking US officials for greater information sharing between the US and Australia as both countries work to counter the rise of China in the Indo-Pacific. The new defence ministers in Washington, D.C., negotiating the AUKUS submarine agreement, with key decisions still yet to be made on where and how the nuclear submarines will be made. Minister Miles attended his first Pentagon meeting with his U.S. counterpart, Secretary of Defence Lloyd Austin, to discuss AUKUS, as well as other measures to maintain open access in the Indo-Pacific. China's disruptive and destabilizing actions threaten to undermine our values, our interests, and our shared conviction that all states should be free to choose their own paths without coercion or intimidation. So today we'll discuss, we'll discuss several ways that we could be working to uh, uphold a free and open Indo-Pacific. But we see that international rules-based order being put under stress in the Indo-Pacific as well. Um, as China seeks to shape the world around it in a way that we've not seen before and as it engages in the single biggest military build-up that we have seen in the world since the end of the Second World War. Um, and that um, is a very significant phenomenon which presents enormous challenges to both of us. Countering Chinese expansion in the Indo-Pacific has become a key focus of the US-Australia alliance. Australia has already been given unprecedented access to US military resources. Experts say a recent agreement allowing Australian submariners to train in nuclear technology would have been unthinkable even five years ago.